Welcome back, everybody, to Undertale. When we last left off, um, we were just basically being chased by Undyne. We had already killed... Ooh, let's get the, uh... Yes, the space food. Carrying too much... What do I have? Oh, yeah, the... Oh, residue. I don't think I can get rid of that as a thing. Can I? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. Take. Yeah. Um, everything's going hunky-dory. I'm actually a pretty boss. I didn't think I'd be this powerful for being a killer. Oh, what does this guy have to say? Because the other person... Ha ha, it's just like you to run away. I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live in a dummy, too, until you destroyed their home. You use us ghosts spend our whole lives looking for a proper vessel. Slowly, slowly, we grow closer to our new bodies until one day we, too, may become corporeal beings. Being able to laugh, love, and dance like any other. But you, my cousin's future, you took it all away. Despicable, despicable, despicable human. You're not too attached to you. I hope you're not too attached to your body because your soul's about to get affected. Oh boy. He has every right to be mad at me. I totally agree. Boom! Oh my goodness. I just totally whoop your butt. Foolish, foolish, foolish! Even if you attack my vessel, you'll never hurt me. I'm still incorporeal, you dummy. Oh yeah. Wait, is dummy racist or something? I don't know. So I gotta just attack him with that. Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Uh, hey, you, uh, forget I said anything about magic. So is there anything I can do? Nope, I'll just keep fighting him. Nope, so he just comes back up. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! So how do I kill him? Because I want to kill him, given that this is, you know, a killing run. Hmm, does that do anything? No, it doesn't even hurt him. Maybe a combination of the magic attacks and take my soul. No, you won't. Um, maybe the magic attacks plus my attacks. I don't know. I don't freaking know. I don't know, bruh. It smells like a clothing store. Gross. How do I do magic attacks? So he's saying that the magic attacks hurt him, which was a key, but I can't do magic. Um, hmm. Doing an armless sky dance. That's not doing anything. Are these red ones magic? Nope. Um, hmm. That's interesting to say the least. Alright, I'm just gonna skip ahead to when we beat him. Well, I'm gonna head home now, just warning you. So we're back. So you don't accidentally follow me to my house. You probably wouldn't like that. Wouldn't I? Well, what happens if I follow you? Oh, hey, you follow me. My house is up here, so you probably don't want to come up this way. I hope that helps, but I do want to come up that way. Yeah, quiet area. All right, so Undyne's house is that way. Let's try... Can we kill you? What happens if we try to kill you? Oh, hey, you followed me into my house. Make yourself at home, I guess? I'm working at make, make yourself at home. Uh, nope, can't do anything with him. Oh, well. Ill, well, don't care about him. He can die for all I care. All right, what do we got here? Uh, bad, 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 bad. And then we got our oh, interesting. The uh, huh. Put the butterscotch pie away since that's really important. It maxes out my HP no matter what it is. What do these still have to say? Uh, seven of the greatest magicians seals with magic spell. Anything that they're doing. Uh, so that's why it's seven hearts because they were seven magicians. Did this? I'm going to trap of forever. Okay. Yep. So it's the same story, same bloody bloody blah crappy crappy crap. No, it's not crap. It was a good story. It's just, to be honest, I'm feeling like the pacifist story was the better story. Like, it got all nice and emotional and stuff. But, uh... This one so far isn't that good. Oh, special enemy. Here to defeat you! Well, um, you're dead, Sammy. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, love increased. Alright. Uh, what am I at? Man! Going crazy over here. Yes, going crazy. Um, but yeah, like the the pacifist one was absolutely awesome, and you know I 
was tearing up. Like, okay, just so you guys know, I get emotional for, like, anything. Well, not anything per se, like, but you know what I mean. Like, there's, you know, during certain events in, like, movie, TV, series, and stuff like that. Well, not really movies. I haven't seen a movie that has made me cry, but definitely TV shows where you spend... Where you spend enough time getting attached to the characters. Um, but... Oof, that was fast. Um, so when I spend enough time to get actually attached to the characters, like, I get attached to the characters. So whether it's a game or a TV series or something like that, when I spend, you know, a lot of time, you know, dedicating myself to these guys and essentially, quote-unquote, getting to know them and all that stuff. Crap, I can't see. This better be lamp here. There we go. Um, it, it hits me when, you know, that kind of stuff happens. I, I don't mean to be, you know, a... Shouldn't there be a path there? I was hoping I could hit it early. Oh, well. And behind you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's behind me. The little dude's gonna come out and she's gonna pull him away. Um, but yeah. So just so you guys know, I wasn't doing that for King Asgore Dreamer. I wonder what... Gore... I don't... Uh, I don't see a monomer with that one. Um, something... Tutorial? No, I don't really see anything. Loiter, maybe? And I and I'll be fight me, right? Yeah. Because right now you think I'm your pal. But I'm not. I'm going to totally murder everyone. Wait, who's she fighting? Hey! I gotta tell my parents about this. Yeah, so so far it's been about the exact same thing, so... To be honest, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of doing this because I said I would, and I, I am curious how the end story, the end game plays out, because that is going to be totally different compared to the pacifist, obviously, but so far he's not, he's not utilizing the death of characters as, like, as majorly impacting to the story, like, as it occurs, as I thought he would have. So to be honest, I gotta give him kind of thumbs down there. I thought it would be more apparent the differences between the pacifist and the um, genocide. But I want to ask you something, man. Um, yo, you're human, right, man? I knew it. I'm gonna be. Um, yeah. Yes. Huh. Yo, that's your idea of something mean. My sister asks me all the time. Guess I have to do it. Huh. <laughs> yo, I hate your guts, man. I feel like such a nerd. I'm gonna go home now. Yep. And you're gonna run away. Because you feel like such a nerd, and I'm not going to help you up. Wait, help, I tripped. Undyne, yeah, you're going to have to help him up. <laughs> See you later, suckers. Undyne, you saved me, huh? They ran away? Yo, you're wrong. They went to get help. They'll be back any second. Oh, man, he still has faith. <laughs> That's sad. That's really sad. Oh, we're here. All right, well, let's defeat Undyne, shall we? <laughs> seven. Seven human souls in King Asgore come back. Six. That's how many we've collected so far. Yep. Uh, come and make it this far. I shall have the direct scale for people so long ago. Forget it. Forget it? What? Look. Papyrus didn't come to his meeting today. Oh, wait. Why am I... Papyrus didn't come to his meeting today. Say what you want about him. He's weird. He's naive. He's self-absorbed. But Papyrus has never missed a meeting. And no matter what time you call him on the phone, night, day, afternoon, morning, he always answers within the first two rings. But now he's gone, and his brother isn't around either. What did you do to him? What did you do to him? Papyrus, who I have trained every day, even though I know he's too goofy to ever hurt anyone. Go ahead, prepare however you want, but when you step forward, I will kill you. Okay, see, there, I was, you know, there is something. Oh, that's interesting. The music isn't playing. Oh, that's bad. That's it. Then, no more running away. Here I come. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's go. So there's green. Undying attacks. All right. Oh, I do so little damage. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Yeah, well, um... I'm not going to run away this time. That's what I was supposed to do last time and trick you into going into the hotlands, but, uh, you know, I'm just gonna kill you. Ooh, that was super critical. Not bad. Then how about this? What? Oh, oh, you changed which way they come from. Oh, so tough of you. Pounds her ground with her fist. Yeah, you probably don't want them to die, do you? 
Oh, for years we've dreamed of escaping, blah de blah Well, maybe I should pay attention to this a little bit, just because it might change. Now, bounces impatiently, bounces impatiently, die. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Yeah, you're saying more or less the same thing you did last time. <clears throat> then draws her finger across her neck. What? Yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do to you. Good job. Good pantomime. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Uh, well, um, you don't really have a choice. You see, I'm, I'm just going to. Flip your spear. You know, to be honest, you're, little, you're not, not even much tougher than... Enough warming up. You're not much tougher than uh, Papyrus, to be honest. Oh, oh, you got me once. Oh, man, you got me once. How does that make you feel? It smells like sushi. Ew, you smell. You need deodorant. Hey, you're tough. Oh, boy. See, this is, uh, this isn't all bad. Maybe if you attacked me like when you were chasing me. Good grief, that was ridiculous. Huge boulder just because you can. All right, but even if you could beat me. Well, um, I can beat you. See, that's the thing. I have this thing called determination where I can, you know, save and, uh, just because you can, where I can save and redo time however I want it to. Learn that from Flowey, that that's how this actually works. It's not just a part of the game, it's a part of your world. And Dine thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists, yes, because you're thinking of how you must protect them so they don't die. However, it's not going to, um, ugh, jeez. Okay, I'm taking a bit more damage than I thought. Oh, that was a really good one. So stop being so damn resilient. No, uh, no. My defense is really good, too. Like, I remember last time I was playing this, I was taking damage up the butt. Well, then again, I've already almost taken 20 damage, so... Uh, maybe... Maybe it's equivalent-ish. What the hell are humans made out of? Determination. Oh, crap. Um... Oh, shoot. But it helps having 52 health this time. <laughs> Uh, Spears paused for a moment. Just so I have a chance to beat the crap of you. Any else would be dead by now. Well, uh, I'm not just anybody else, am I? I am a child. You're getting your butt kicked by a child. Now imagine if I was a full-grown human, huh? Oh man, you'd you'd get your butt kicked. Alpha told me humans were determined. Literally. Oh, because she did all those experiments, so she knew they were determined, yes. Oh, she knew we were determined, all right. I see now what she meant by that. Uh, oh, we can attack some more and without risking uh, dying. But I'm determined too. Uh, no, you're not. See, you may think you are. However, monsters can't be determined. When monsters get t filled with determination, bad things happen. Nah, die already, you little brat. Oh, crap. Ugh. I can't think. Okay, now I'm gonna heal up. Uh, you know what? No. I should be able to defeat her here. Oh, maybe not. You're getting in my way! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, now I am gonna actually heal. Wait, monster candy, you recovered 10 HP. Oh, monster candy, I should have just gotten rid of that. That's only 10 HP. It's bogus for me right now. Jeez. And well, it should allow me to defeat her, at least. Oh, you're getting there. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, I don't even remember what I was talking about now. It's been so long since we were on that tangent. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention there. I was thinking too hard back about what we was talking about. <sighs> and I'm dying now. You're dead, too. Yeah. You were stronger than I thought. So then, this is where... It ends. No. No! I won't die. Alphys, Asgore, Papyrus, everyone is counting on me to protect them. Yeah! Human, in the name of everybody's hopes and dreams, I will defeat you. What? Undyne looks determined. Oh, you've got a little bit of health left. Too bad. I will keep kicking you down. Come on, is that all you've got? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I was not prepared for this. Holy crap. <gasps> Smiling as if nothing's wrong. Okay, this is this is pulling at my heartstrings a bit. She's beginning to fade away. And she's smiling as if nothing's wrong, even though she knows that everything is wrong. Oh boy. Pathetic. You're gonna have to try harder than that. Oh 
boy. Oh, she's fading away. Oh, drawing about wavering. Yep. Uh, drawing this out. Drawing this out. See how strong we are when we believe in ourselves. Oh boy. Guilt trip. Guilt trip up the wazoo. <laughs> Dane Spazzi is losing its shape. Oh boy, and I just keep kicking your butt. <laughs> Had enough yet? I could ask the same of you. Oh, and she's even attacking slower. Oh, she can't even attack me right. Uh, Undyne's body. Oh my god. <laughs> I won't give up. Oh, she's... That's... That's all she can do now. Oh, I feel like such a dick. Oh, man. This is tough. Huh. Huh. Elphys. This is what I was afraid of. This is why I never told you how you felt. No, no, not yet. I won't die. I won't die. I won't die. What? You won't die? What is going on? Un undying? Undying. Okay, that was really, really weird. That was weird. Okay, um, <laughs> let's get to the save point so I make sure nothing else happens before I end this episode. That was, uh, oh, and this text isn't scrolling anymore. Oh, boy. But our Sans isn't there. Oh, I hate, like, for many reasons, I don't. Where's this? Oh, the save point's up here. That's right. Oh, it's you two guards. Filled with determination. Save. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, they're not even going to talk to me now. Because I killed. Oh, see, I get you here. That's where I get you. Okay, that makes more sense. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here. Good grief, that... Uh, like I said, I feel like if he would have, you know, made... I know what Toby's doing. He wants to show that an RPG can be more than just killing everything in your path, which I understand. However, at the same time, you know, when you get people who want to experience that after, you know, you, you need to make them feel regret. And that right now, I mean, it's it sucks. And some of that was bad, but uh, the way that he's doing it isn't making me exactly look back on when we were friends in the previous time and regretting killing them but anyway that's my two cents on the matter so um thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video